Hi Nesters, it's Dawn here. Today I'm going to walk you through this really quick and easy one layer card. Started by scoring my card stock so I can make a standard A2 sized card. Then I used um, Hero Arts Shadow Ink in Soft Sand to ink up this background. The background stamp is by Amuse Studios and it's called uh, just Hexagon Background. Went ahead and carefully lined up the front of my card with the edge of that stamp. I wanted to have just a nice straight edge. And then just used my fingers um, to press it down so I could get that stamped image. There you can see it a little bit more clear. And then what I did is I used this one stamp. It's from a stamp set called Modern Zinnia. I used this one stamp in three different colors of ink. I'm putting down the first ink here. It's called Blush. This is also by Amuse. It's a pigment ink, so it's a little more um, juicy, but it just stamps beautifully. Um, it's a very crisp image once it's stamped. Here I'm putting down a little piece of uh, scratch paper so I don't get ink on my hand or my shirt. This next ink, um, again, still in used studio ink, it's called Grapefruit. It's just a little bit darker um, of a pink color. It's more still in the rose family there. And I'm just inking it up again. What I did is I took um, the stamp and I stamped three times, I stamped the image three times in each of these three colors. The third color that I'm putting on here, the darkest color, is called Poppy. This is just a beautiful, um, a beautiful deep color. Now you'll notice that I've got a bit of an open spot there. That's where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I'm using a stamp positioner. This is the stamp in the jig. Um, but with the stamp positioner, you line it up in that black base there and you stamp on that little piece of plastic and you use that to line it up on your card. And you can move it around as much as you need to. Once I had it where I wanted it, I brought the black piece back lined it back up with that little clear um, piece of plastic and then I um, once again once I inked up my stamp you just line up the corner of the stamp with the corner of the positioner and you will stamp exactly where you want to go it makes things nice and easy um, by the way that's VersaFine Onyx black ink that I'm stamping with there once that's done the card is finished the whole process, I sped it up a bit for the video, but the whole process is about 10 minutes. It's pretty cool. And there you can see the finished product. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.